Well, you hit it too, man. Man, I'm gonna let somebody look into my eyes. I feel on my titties, man. Because <laughs> basically, that's I, what you're screaming. <laughs> eye doctor, mammogram. And when I have to go up by the job now, it just feels so weird. Like, why am I all the way up this way? <laughs> so being working from home, man, spoiled the hell out of somebody. Yeah, I'm all right. And now I'm trying to figure out, like, am I going to change my people to be closer to me? Like my dentist, my eye doctor, my gynecologist. You start thinking real stuff, man. When yeah, you can get, get thought, your creative thinking, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, for right now, I'm not up that way. Uh, I ain't gonna do all that. This once a year. <laughs> Hey, knock me out. Next time you get Hold on, let me go ahead. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Stop. Yo, I don't know if I thought this appointment through. Like, I tried to make all my appointments on the same day, but I didn't think about the fact that I'm going to get my eyes dilated. I'm going to be half able to see. Then I have to go and get my mammogram. So I'm going to have to walk up in there with my Ray Charles glasses on. That looked real sus real facts i mean at the end of the day they just gonna have to get over it they probably have seen worse but for me i'm like i'm walking into a lit building with my ray charles on looking real sus with a mask on come on but here listen this must be the month for me to have button issues i love this guy doing jean jacket because i wear it as was well, a jean shirt but i wear it as a jacket and put it on this morning middle button gone I'm over it, really over it. But I put a button down on and a tank top so it'll be easier to get off rather than me having to pull a t-shirt over my head and whatnot. But yeah, let me get in here because I want I want to play me some music, y'all. I want to play my Ari um, Linux pressure. <laughs> So now I'm getting checked in and um, I'm gonna put my mask on and whenever I come to an office like a doctor's appointment or something I like to put the N95s on especially with somebody being that close to my freaking face just go ahead and get the maximum amount of protection so let's do it So that was a good appointment um i don't know if i'm like i can still see usually when he dilates my eyes i can't see nothing but i can still see i'm not complaining about it but good appointment nothing changed i don't have to go into reading glasses he's oh yeah i can tell i'm dilated now um he's projecting that i will need them in the next couple of years but we're going to kick that can all the way down the street as long as possible because who wants to be in reading glasses before they need to be? Not me. Still 2020 vision. Good old LASIK. And he wants me to start using my allergy medicine more consistently because I have the puffy eye on one side of my face. Um, I'm always puffier. Like just the right side of my face is affected by allergies like 50% more than the left side and he could tell that I ain't doing what I'm supposed to do with my allergy medicine but I don't do my allergy medicine because it makes my eyes dry so we have to do both counterbalance it take the medicine and use eye drops so now let me get over to my GYN and I'll check in with y'all when I get over there Oh, 
Hi guys, so now I'm sitting out here waiting for my appointment. But uh, uh, I'm not looking forward to it, so I kind of like got to get myself together for uh, cuz nobody likes these appointments. <sighs> and my husband is FaceTiming me, so I'll be back. This appointment is one and done. Not as unbearable as they usually are. She was really gentle. Um, even with me having boobs that are on the smaller scale, it wasn't that bad. Because usually I feel like they have to overcompensate for the fact that they got to pull and push and do all of that. But um, she had to get a few more imagings because my skin had folded up. So had to get a few more. But um, I did notice that the last time I came here that they don't do your readings the day that you get your imaging anymore due to COVID. I, well, I don't know what COVID has to do with it, but they said they don't do the readings. Um, they'll get with you in a couple of days, which is nerve wracking. But in my motto that if they saw something, they would probably be having somebody talk to you before you leave. That's just my motto. But let me head on back home. So good people, I don't made it back to the house and whatnot. Been here for a few hours and whatnot and got caught up in some travel agency work. Listen, God is so good because when I first decided to take this thing seriously, of course I didn't know how it was gonna pan out. Didn't know if anybody was gonna take me seriously, all of that good stuff. And you know, me and my husband both were like, you know, we have this major platform and it may not be major to you, but it's major to us because we're just normal, small town people, normal people that just want to be who we are online and have a gift to share. You know, and it may not mean anything to you, um, but it means a lot to us that we have 20,000 subscribers. We have people that really come to us and trust us to just make them feel better, make them feel like everything gonna be all right. Make them feel like you are part of somebody's family, even when you don't feel like you're part of your own. We don't take that kind of stuff for granted. And because we have that platform, I was like, you know what? Let me offer something that is near and dear to my heart, which is travel. I am an awesome travel planner, not to toot my own horn, but I'm good at what I do. So when I do vacation planning, I'm treating your stuff like it's my stuff. And I'm trying to get you the best deal for the money that you spend because nobody's money comes easy and it doesn't come cheap. But <clears throat> with that said, business has been great. Like the platform that we have is a major, major vehicle to my travel business. So as you all can see, not to explain how we're moving with our channel, but the videos that we're putting out educating people about travel and gets them to entrust my knowledge and my wisdom. They come and they were like, you know, I could very well do this myself, but you know it. So let hit boom. God is good. But let me go ahead and stop rambling about that. Let me show y'all this. Last night, I made some chicken with, that's not oil. That is um, some kind of cream sauce or whatever. I don't know. I just made it up. But it's, um roasted chicken so i'm gonna have to put it in the air fryer so the skin could crisp back up and get the sauce back going it's got radishes in it some spinach blah 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 but this is what i really wanted to show you i made some seasoned butter beans last night okay i made it with the drippings from the chicken a little bit of um no sodium vegetable stock and water and some more seasonings this bowl was full like full right here. When I went, was where, where? My husband told myself I got up in the middle of the night and I ate butter beans. Who gets up in the middle of the night and eats butter beans? Hey man, you better stop putting my business, my personal business out in the street, man. I told him you are officially old. <laughs> Who the <laughs> Who the <laughs> Hey, I finished off those Super Bowl wings, man, so I need some vegetables to go with those wings. Who gets up in the <laughs> middle <laughs> of the night and eats butter beans? Let me get that on there, get it crisped up, and then get this sauce back working. <clears throat> look, look, fam, she laid there putting my freaking personal business up out there in the street. But look at here. What? 
And I ain't fit to eat no Nicky Wings, man. <laughs> you feel some kind of way about this? Yeah, you put my perfect dimensions and I was snuck in here and got some lava beans last night to go with my the Super Bowl wings that you made, man. Who? I'm gonna say it one more time. Who? Hey y'all. Hey, would you would y'all eat the, the wings naked or would y'all got some of the butter beans? I ain't know that was for dinner today. I ain't know. Dude, why else would I have butter beans in the freaking refrigerator? And you know when I cook food, I cook it for two days. So if you saw a vegetable, or like the old people say, a vegetable, you know that it was for today. But, um, uh, yo, I was told when I left the breast center today that it would take a couple of days for them to read my readings, right? I get a text message that was like, oh, your portal has been updated, you know. Even though you think you are all right. Huh. When it comes to stuff like that, you just can never really be sure. So I put my little password in. It said, we are pleased. I said, that's all I had to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> to inform you that these are good. I said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Someone asked in the video today, have I made the pot roast with the turnips and the radishes? No. Oh, I'm going to yeah, do it Saturday. Oh, you're doing that Joe Saturday? I'm going to do it Saturday for a Sunday and Monday dinner. Sweet. But I took some of the radishes and I made them into this dish on last night. I let Stanley eat them and everything. I said, how you like those, um, the vegetables that's in there? He was like, them potatoes, right? Uh, mm -mm. Yeah, they taste a lot like potatoes to me. I said, nailed it. Yep. So, they going in the pot roast. Listen, when we had the latitudes the other day, Man, that food was bomb. They have something called, I'm gonna say salmon, cause I say the L, judgment, judgment mama. Salmon dip. Me and Stella still eating on this damn dip. Yeah, that junk was bomb. I don't know how they do it. We said we were trying to figure out how to make it, man. This dip because is it's so bomb. good. Because it's bomb, yeah. Cause usually we get the imperial dip or the crab dip. But I looked on Yelp, and everybody on Yelp was like, uh-uh, go and get that salmon dip in the calamari. What's over here in the air fryer, man? Good chicken. I'm gonna put it in the sauce for a hot little minute. Let the grease, I mean, get the skin get all bad. Uh, question for y'all, with all this stuff going on, with still that's going on with this virus, are y'all canceling y'all trips, whether it's international or or cruising or staycation, what y'all doing? Y'all is y'all holding on to y'all vacation or are you uh, backing out? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh we ain't backing out. No. Um, we not. got we got two cruises that's coming up um so far and and the only way we out is if, 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 if Carnival cancel it. But other yeah. than that, we in. And we still trying to find a another a, another trip. Yeah, another international trip that we're trying to take. As well, because we got to get out of that blood. I, I told the queen I, I need that international, uh, that, yeah. that joke, you know, get that fun uh, that, we had, that, that we had in Jamaica in 2018. You know, we've still been chasing that high, mm -hmm. and we ain't got it yet, so we know we got to go back to international most likely to get that. Yeah, the cruises don't do that for us. Yeah. We, hey, we'll do it now, and we're going to have a good time doing it. Heck yeah. But that flying the international, woo! Yeah. Baby! That John, that John hit different. Boy, you hit the it ground. Hit it's that's, a whole nother scene. That's if you go all inclusive with all the food, all the drinks. All the entertainment. Yeah, entertainment is, clu is included. And all you got to do is just show just up. Just be there. Yep. You that's, got to lead a resort if you don't want to. So we call those turnkey vacations. <laughs> we doing this again? <laughs> hey, but you mama, I graduated. I'm chef now, mama. No. You cool? Yeah, but I'm glad that your um that your appointment went good today though, baby. Me too. Both yeah, because y'all know how we are, and those of y'all who are new, anytime we gotta go to the doctor, we never take that lightly because not everybody gets their spouse back in the condition that they left when they go to the doctor. So she could have got some bad news that could have yeah. really crushed her. So when they got the, that letter came back and said she was good, yeah, mm -hmm. real feeling good now. But I told the lady. That did mine. I had to. I had to compliment her. I said, "Hey, 
I just want to let you know, this has been the most gentle mammogram that I've ever had in my life. And she was like, really? I said, yeah. I said, because I've had one where old girl had, had tied me down so tight and cranked that thing down so freaking low that I felt like I was going to pass out. The only thing that was going to be left was me hanging on this machine by my daggone nipple. <laughs> she always, the queen always thinks the worst. Yeah, you you do. never had that. I mean, you. I mean, I, I mean no. I, hopefully, Stop. not. Hopefully, imagine somebody taking your head and crank, putting it into between two plates, and then that ain't tight enough, and they take and crank it down a little further, and then take pictures and tell you to hold your breath. I I I, I ain't saying that I'm I'm not sympathetic to what you're going through. I think you are not. I I I, I fully I don't fully understand. You wouldn't but know. I, but I'm on your side. But, I don't know. But what I'm saying is that how many nipples have you heard pop off during a mammogram? I ain't got to hear one. Mine was almost one. That's what I'm saying. So you always thinking the worst. Cause I, I want to, I like I said the on the last video, <laughs> if it were to happen to anybody, it would happen to Just me. like when you were in that MRI machine. Yeah, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're not talking about you that. You thought your life was over, oh, look. but you're still here. Barely. Barely. They shut my damn arm down. I'm still not right over that. If I ever have to have a surgery again, it she, says, I tell y'all, she always thinks the worst. And I gotta talk her off the ledge to let her know that everything's gonna be alright. Buck a ledge. Just don't put me <laughs> on it. Oh man, you ready to put that chicken in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, come on, chicken. Come on. Chick, 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 chick. Chick, 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 chick. Uh huh. That was good. I'm going to turn that down low and slow. Let it do what it's supposed to do. Let it do what it's supposed to do. And then we have this half a order of butter beans. Half or a half a order of butter man. Cause somebody decided to get up in the middle of the night and eat butter beans. But anyway. Move. So you oh, get burnt. My bad. We don't want you to get burnt up. I was gonna put these on the stove, but it ain't enough to put on the stove. Here <laughs> we go. <laughs> I wish I'd never even touched them butter beans now. She ain't, <laughs> she ain't gonna let it go. Uh, ain't gonna let it go. I shouldn't even mess with them, man. But, uh, since we're in the kitchen, we always have transparent moments among ourselves in the kitchen. And, uh, uh I was thinking about, um, this past few years of being in this here pandemic, and we finally went out. I mean, we do go out on dates. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. But because we're both not as comfortable out here in this semi-red state with all the people that be out here acting like mm -hmm. they don't want to wear masks, you know, we, we retreat to doing a lot of things in the house. Therefore, I had started to notice that me being the person that I am, I'm not the most girly girl and I'm not the most feminine girl, but there's a standard of how I present myself to the world. That's subjective. And it is subjective. And I felt like these last couple of years, I just wasn't presenting that to my household. I would present that to the world, but my household wouldn't see me as everybody else has the pleasure of getting to see me. Like being around the house and wearing leggings and t-shirts all the time and things like that, which is nothing wrong with that. But if I put that kind of effort into showing up in the world like that, why am I not doing that for the people that actually mean something to me and whose opinion mean? Not to say that they even care, they don't, but- You talking I, about me, man? Then you don't care. No, I'm talking about you saying that you want to, you, the way you showing up in the world, yeah. you want to show up for the people who really depend on yes. you. Yeah, you're talking about me. Yeah. Okay. You just wanted me to say it. 
Yeah, and I wanted to see it. So, yeah, so these last, you know, I'm really taking an effort to make sure that I'm presenting myself the way that I am, the way that I feel. Um, you know, not always being, you know, bummified. Make sure you get up and put a, put a little put a little concealer under your eyes. I mean, make yourself look look right, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's where I'm at with it. Was like I'm not gonna let these last couple, last couple of years just kind of make me bum it, if that makes sense. Cause I felt like these last few years I was just bumming it, especially the year that I got my locks. Y'all know that was a yeah, bad year a, for your yeah, girl. That was the yeah. Oh my god. I yeah, have never... yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, for those y'all who are new, yeah, that was a. Uh, uh, I never. That was a hell of a turn. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Because I've never in my life felt unpretty. Like that song, Feel Unpretty. I've never felt like that. I felt unpretty. Like, and people be like, you're not your hair. I was like, well, maybe I am. Like, I just felt like, and I, I was like. I don't care how much I told her. I said, baby, you are gorgeous. I said, those things look good on you. You got to let the world see it. But mm -mm. I she, just felt she like, just, like, I felt uh, disheveled. Like, she was like, oh, hell no. I ain't nobody seeing these. Mm -hmm. And now when I look back on pictures, I'm like. They were cute. They were, I tried but to But I couldn't see them. Yeah. And it I'm gonna tell, tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why you couldn't see it. Because it was such a drastic change for me. No, no, no. Why? All of us suffer from that C word. What? Comparison. Mm. So you look on Instagram and see other people's locks that appear to look better than yours. Yes. Because their locks look good on them. But I was trying to tell you no, no, no. Your locks look good on you, but you could not see that because you was comparing yourself. That's true. Yeah, so well, comparing yourself, like the Bible said, is not wise. No. So we're going to eat uh, dinner on our paper plates. Yeah. So the little butter beans that my husband left, which he did leave enough. <laughs> For both of us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, y'all. I don't know what the heck. So we about ready to eat some ice cream with Queen go eat this one I right here. I say this right. is mine. And I'm gonna eat this one right here. So as far as keto ice cream goes, rebel pe um, butter pecan, <clears throat> put it in the microwave for like 15 seconds. Get rid of that texture. Um, Halo salted caramel, the best one. And I'm gonna be bad. Cause I love my cookies and cream. Shouts out to those who love the cookies and cream, man. But here is the sea salted caramel one. So these two are the best. Yeah. Don't Hands get down. The, don't Hands get this for low carb. Yeah, yeah. Don't get the sea salted one in the rubble. It tastes horrible. Yeah. But yeah. Don't never say I ain't put y'all on. So all right, y'all. We're gonna catch y'all in the next freaking vlog. Straight from the VA. The dirty dirty south. Shoot up. Shoot down. Holla.